Everton cannot be treated differently. What sort of what sort of precedent, you know, would would that set moving forward? And the Premier League, you know, they they would never recover from that. Ten point deduction for breaking Premier League profit and sustainability rules. They are now joint bottom of the Premier League table with Burnley. Do we feel sorry for them or not? Um, I think there are plenty of people out there who uh, don't feel sorry for Everton because they've, you know, have essentially broken the rules. But there are a lot of people who have, uh, you know, sympathy for uh, for Everton because you know it's not it's not the fans who have broken the rules. It's not the it's not the players who have uh, broken the rules. It's you know the the hierarchy where uh, where the club has been mismanaged and. Uh, and you, you know, but it, you know, as I say, because it isn't the fans and the players, then I think there is an element of sympathy. Everton's a great football club, great history, great heritage, and um, you know, they're they're in the mire now. The fans are really, really angry. They're angry at the, at the Premier League. Um, there's a crowdfunding um, page already been started to try and raise money to uh, pay for banners and placards and and flags. Um, um, f- ahead of this weekend's game at uh, home to Manchester United they're going to use those banners to um, show the Premier League exactly what they think I would imagine the Premier League anthem will be booed on on Sunday but shouldn't they be angry at their own club it's their own club that have broken the rules the Premier League from what I can see and I've read the report mm. I've read the Commission's report the Premier League have um, essentially um stuck by the, the rules, the what what we call financial fair play rules. They've stuck by them and they've put and they've punished Everton. So why are yeah. they so angry um, at the Premier League? Well I, I think there's you know there, there's anger at the Everton ownership. There's been anger from the uh, supporters towards uh, the Everton ownership for, for a long time now for uh, for a number of reasons. But I think uh, with regards to the Premier League, uh, they feel that uh, they are a club which has been singled out and that I understand why they feel that but that that actually isn't the case because there no. are ongoing processes with um, with Manchester City and uh, you know in Chelsea and what does this mean for City they've got 115 outstanding charges against them they've denied them by the way 115 charges against them what happens to them and uh, well, and, until we sort of um, you know get to the end of of the, of the investigation and find out what those you know char- well not find out what the charges were for, but City are you know going to uh, defend those charges. So it is it is a wait and see on the face of things. I think that's what evidence supporters ha- have looked at. You know, well, you know we've had we've had this charge. Manchester City have got 115. Well, you know they must be bang in trouble. The same with. You know, with Chelsea, uh, by all accounts, so that's where the anger and the ire comes from the uh, the Everton support, and I can un- understand that. But let's just wait and see what what happens to Manchester City. I think somebody has done the mathematics. Somebody has it, tried to extrapolate it, and if you apply the same logic to uh, to Everton being deducted ten points for their for their charge, and I think um, by the same rationale, City would probably lose fifteen hundred points which I think probably takes them all the way down into the Eastman League or something like that and uh, we're laughing because it's a, a rather stupid comparison but it's a serious it's a serious subject I think you and I both think that they'll that actually they'll still they'll still be okay um now there has the, 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 um, buried within all of this ret- rhetoric or the, at the front of some of this rhetoric over last weekend has been that they've made an exact the Premier League have made an example of Everton because they're in inverted commas smaller club I don't buy it actually no. but there is that school of thought but it, wrapped up in all of that is this feeling that the Premier League may not wish to take on Manchester City, their own champions. I mean, in the, in their own way. Let's face it, it won't serve the Premier League's purpose as a, as a brand, as a spectacle, as a money-making entity to relegate its own champions. They don't want to. Re- they, won't, they won't want to relegate a team that's got Kevin De Bruyne in it and Erling Haaland in it. And and Jack Grealish and but that, Phil but, Foden, but, that, but but they can't they can't think like well, that. That, that 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 cannot happen. No. I, I I can't believe you're sort of suggesting. Well, people that are that su- is... well, people are suggesting. Well, say people, social media, or the commentators in print and on on the radio and television have been suggesting that Everton have had the rug pulled out from within the feet because they're Everton, and that the Premier League won't, if it comes to it, won't have the guts to do it. So, so you're people saying you're that. you're saying they're going to treat Everton. Uh, differently to Manchester it's, City. It's, 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 mm. Some people are saying that. 
I, 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 it would be surely they can't because well, this, exactly. because this I, is I, the yeah. this is the line in the sand now, surely, isn't it? Well, this is the precedent, a, absolutely. And that, but that's where Everton, you, you know, it will you know, Everton supporters and everybody at Everton will be keeping an eye on, you know, these 115 charges uh, which Manchester City are facing and and seeing how that pans out. But I do not, I do not believe that. Uh, that you know what you're saying um, is is possible. Like Everton cannot be treated differently. What, what sort of he, what sort of precedent you know would would that set moving forward? And the Premier League, you know, they they would never recover from that if they treated in terms of their image it, and their integrity. Well, yeah, absolutely. They, they wouldn't recover if they, if, you, if they treat somebody different to somebody else to somebody else, which you know you're suggesting is a possibility. I mean that. That isn't going to happen. I mean, it, it, it's but it's so multi-layered this topic. I mean, imagine what the broadcasters would think. So, if you're Sky or, or you're a big American broadcaster and you've you've you're in about halfway through a contract in which you pay billions of pounds to cover the Premier League, and all of a sudden you're told halfway through that the champions are not in it anymore. Happened to, but but it happened, happened, happened to Rangers in Scotland. They'll have didn't a view, it? won't they? Absolutely. 